Sorry, I've been busy getting ready to go to New York City for a few days. Um, a lot of people were kind of surprised that I uh, gave out that uh, English translation that I did, second edition on the Dhammapada's uh, ancient Pali translation. Of course, translating a language that's been dead for over 2,000 years is not all that easy. But uh, I, I do do stuff like that. I've been telling people for years that I translate ancient Greek and Pali. Anyway, um, getting on to uh, the topic of uh, cameras, and of course, I'm a hardcore metaphysician, whatever you want to call that, specifically a Neoplatonic uh, Platonist. And uh, superficially, it seems true, and this is about cameras, by the way, that um, you can't learn anything from either evil or evil and stupid people. There's actually, metaphysically speaking, there's extremely little difference between stupid and evil. One, of course, is a, uh, a, a, a will that's powered, and the other one is just uh, primordial agnosis. But getting on to the topic of uh, cameras, I don't know if you know what a bandwagon fallacy your, your mother probably told you the first bandwagon fallacy. If you wanted to do something stupid, your mother would say something like, well, if 10,000 people jumped off the bridge, would you do it too? This notion that if something is popular or has a lot of people that believe in it, that uh, this is validation. And of course, that is not only laughable, it's heretical. It's called a bandwagon fallacy. Um, I can almost set my clock. Well, actually, I can. I, my entire life, not almost, I can. 99 times out of 100, uh, I can actually set my clock by what uh, someone who's identified as uh, stupid or evil will say because, well, here's a great example. Like if a politician doesn't want you to own something, then you should probably go out and buy one or two or three or four. Yeah because politicians are evil. There is a perfect example of uh, setting your watch or setting your clock by stupid slash evil people. Like politicians want to ban something. You, then you, that means you should probably own one or more. <laughs> I'll let you guess what that thing is. Um, I have absolutely nothing to apologize for. Uh, somewhere on the top 10 YouTube photography channels in the world of people that do gear recommendations and talk and whatnot, and I'm really interested in doing photography. I mean, I, I do gear reviews on this table. Um, I'm the only one of them that doesn't have any affiliate links, and I have no sponsorship. I'm not interested in sponsorship. And by the way, who the hell would sponsor someone, you know, covered in tattoos that is a bit of a prick like I am? And let's just face it, I am... I am... Um, a smug, I've been called this many, many times in comments, a smug prick or an arrogant asshole. I've been called that countless times. And even if this is true, and it, it mostly is true, but it's just because I have a low tolerance for BS. And actually, in person, I'm extremely kind and, you know, like giving people hugs and, uh, you know, I'm actually extremely nice in person, as some people are about to find out here in a couple of days in New York. Um, I give away everything for free. I write books that take a long time to write, especially ancient Greek and Pali translations, for free. I wrote a free book on Fujifilm, not because Fujifilm is doing a damn thing for me. Um, you know, they give me some free t-shirts and hats, but I mean, I prove over and over again that I pay for this stuff myself. But uh, someone made a comment recently, I think it was on my Instagram, and I've heard this comment a thousand, well, you know, Sony's the number one selling company. You know, well, what the hell does that prove? It's a bandwagon fallacy. Does that mean I should like join X religion because there's up to millions or billions of followers? No, here's a quote that I've lived by and it's my own quote. It's my own wise saying. Nothing true is popular and nothing popular is true. And that is more true than you'll ever realize. Um, all these people, some people recently discovered some large YouTube photography channels that, you know, I love so-and-so brand, but, you know, why should I limit myself? Because affiliate link money is affiliate link money. And so I'm going to start, you know, talking about Sony and uh, how great it is. And yay, I just love my Sony camera. And I, you know, it's cameras. We're not talking about religion or politics here. I could not give a damn what somebody buys, but... 
I'll tell you flat out, I've got more experience. I, I've taken got far more experience than all of them combined on lenses. I've fixed cameras. I've taken countless thousands of cameras apart. Them? No. Um, Sony's not a camera that I would stick my money into. I mean that emphatically. I'm not a shill for anybody. I'm a big lover of Nikon. And Fujifilm is actually doing everything right. They don't do everything right. Uh, I've actually criticized them for their horrible lens caps. That's why like, I got a ProMaster cap on this Fujifilm 18 to 135. Fujifilm listened. I even got a call from a guy that lives in Tokyo, Japan. He's a big wig. Totally on. He told me about a meeting he had with a Fujifilm executive, a female, and she read the right act because apparently they are watching. And I'm right. I was right. The, the, the caps, the... Uh, the uh, lens cap sucked, so they redesigned them. Yes, 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 because it used to be they'd fall off if you looked at them sideways. Another thing that I've got an issue with is, and uh, Nikon and Canon does it right, is that these are injection molded plastic. I was like, what, a, what are Nikon and Canons? Uh, they're also plastic, but they have nylon filling. And what that does is it makes them both flexible yet extremely strong, and Fujifilm needs to do that. So I'm not 100% you know, behind, you know, I, I'm being perfectly honest, but when I say something, uh, you know, is, uh, should be fixed, it should be from a, an objective position that I know what the hell I'm talking about, and I do. Um, but I mean, this, you should actually set off an alarm bell in your head. You know, it's like, well, you got all these people promoting Sony, it's got to be good. Well, no, it's not. I mean, here's what would, if YouTube tomorrow banned affiliate links, all these, uh, these uh, dingleberries, these crazy affiliate link wackadoodles, they would be quaking in their boots and I wouldn't give a single hoot in hell because I have no affiliate links. You know, if you want to make money off of YouTube, and many people do, you know, you monetize the video and there's a commercial that plays and you have, you know, you could ask for a donation if you like it. It's kind of like a tip jar, right? But uh, really affiliate links should not be on YouTube. Um, they, they really shouldn't be. Um, people say, well, you know, what if somebody really likes it and they, get, you know, they do a post affiliate link? Yeah, the money is too tempting. You know, unless you're some sort of a person that has completely rejected all materiality. You know, the, the people are going to grub after the money. They're going to pimp and shill, shill and pimp, pimp and shill, shill and pimp, and. Uh, I think I flat out tell you, you know, these. Sony is not a, a camera that I would put my money into. Um, when I actually reviewed the last camera I reviewed, the Sony a7 III, and before that I reviewed the Sony a9, even the Sony people were like, I couldn't believe how fair you were. I always take camera reviews seriously. When I said, and I got attacked for it, but I had tons of Sony fanboys said, you're right, Sony focus peaking is not good. It's just not. And Fujifilm's focus peaking, for example, is far, far superior. Better than Nikon's, it's uh, better than Sony's by far. And I, not my opinion that it is, it is. And many, many Sony fanboys said, you know, I know you don't like Sony, but you're right, focus peaking on Sony is not good. Um, build quality, additionally so. Overheating, condensation. Um, Mainboard failure due to corrosion. EMF and RFI interference. Um, this is also one of the downsides of IBIS, but specifically Sony's main board is so close. Anyway, I'm not going to get into the technical issues on Sony, but you really cannot judge a camera based upon specification sheets. Um, the fact that these people are, uh, you know, are going so hard to shill and pimp this stuff should be a really strong indicator to you what the hell is going on. You might want to ask yourself, what if somebody, you know, got nothing off of what I bought from his or her recommendation and uh, they actually had a lot of experience with cameras you know maybe want to take that into consideration it might be a wise decision um, I have nothing to be ashamed for other than being you know a bit of a smug prick which I am I, I, just because I've seen too much uh, BS in life and I, I really don't uh, you know, have an, an enormous uh, tolerance for pretense in person. I'm actually extremely diplomatic. Believe it or not, and I'm sure you won't believe this, but it's actually true. In person, 
I'll be the last person to lose my cool. I am extremely diplomatic in person. You wouldn't think that would be the case. A lot of the, you know, the either the uh, excessive ranting or boiling over I do in videos is to make people laugh or is to emphasize a point. Um, if you think somebody that listens to classical music and translates uh, ancient uh, Greek and Indian metaphysics has like a short fuse or is emotional, you are delusional. Just the opposite. The only reason I do that is it makes people laugh and I use it to emphasize a point. Because if I made camera and lens reviews, and some people do this, this is a nice lens. Look at the picture I took. I think this is a very good lens. I hope you do too. This is my lens review of X Lens. I'm glad you could watch. Please click the subscribe button. Nobody wants to see more of that crap. Well, actually, a lot of people do. They, they want to be lied to. People, there's a certain percentage of people that want to be treated like a mushroom. You should remember this phrase. Treated like a mushroom, which means fed shit, fed shit and kept in the dark. Remember that phrase. Treat them like a mushroom. Feed them shit and keep them in the dark. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do that. Um, but I also don't pander to people. You, know? you should actually be wary of the people that do pander to you. They're always, you know, licking your boot and sucking up to you. Click my link below. Click the subscribe button. Please make sure to click the subscribe and the like button. I've never told anybody to subscribe. The point of this video is, is that looking in the retrospect and I'm always uh, stepping back and analyzing things and, uh, you know, seeing how I could better uh, communicate on particular topics, is that, uh, yeah, don't engage in the bandwagon fallacy, you know? If something is popular, then there's something wrong with it. In most all cases. And you can learn a lot from what stupid and evil people say. And I mean this emphatically, and you could hate me for this, but I absolutely do not give a damn in hell. I really, really mean this, and look into my eyes if you think I'm lying. The people that I have basically no respect for on what the hell they blab about on cameras, yeah? Are the same people that are telling you, you know, oh my god, I got the greatest Sony, god, Jesus. It's like, why are all the people that I respect the least and I have um, no faith in that they are honest whatsoever except they will do anything to make a buck? Why are these the people that are always pimping Sony, you know? The more greedy and the mo more pimp and shill worthy a person is, the more likely they are to tell you how great Sony is, and you should click the link below! <laughs> so they could get a kickback. Yes. If you want to know why I haven't taken a real vacation, and because if I had money, I would take a real vacation, I would go to Iceland or Norway or Denmark, it's because when I first started doing these, I made a clear decision, and that's not going to change, that I'm not going to put up affiliate links, you know, to pimp and shill crap, because that's what everybody else is doing. I lived my life by the simple fact that if people that I have no respect for that I know are fools and greedy pricks are doing it, then I'll be doing the opposite. This is actually how, and I was getting to this point about 10 minutes ago, this is how you could actually learn something from evil and stupid people. You can set your watch by stupid, evil, untrustworthy, greedy schmucks. Because whatever it is they're telling you and advocating, you know, then that acts as a mile marker to go the other direction. Whatever it is or whatever they recommend. Uh, really, you can set your watch by stupid and evil and ignorant people. But you actually have to have the wisdom to see it. You know, they say you can only learn from the wise, but there's an ancient uh, saying, and I think it's somewhere in the works of Proclus, that if you have wisdom, then evil, foolish people are also, because you could just use them as a mirror. It's like whatever they tell you, you just, the opposite is true. If they recommend this, then you should buy the opposite of that. And one thing that they all have in common is they tell you how great Sony is and how you should click on the link below and you should click the subscribe button. You should click the like button. And 
If you have the brains, you might want to consider something else because these people don't give a damn about anything other than screwing you over to make a buck to line their pockets, and I don't begrudge anybody for trying to feed their family. People, people, people tell me that, well, what, what's wrong with making a buck? Well, how about an honest buck, for God's sake? Huh? How about an honest one? You know? I actually live by what I uh, advocate. It takes a long time to write books. I give them away for free. It takes a shitload of time to translate ancient Pali, specifically like 423 verses of a language that's been dead for over 2,000 years, I just released the second edition. Completely free, no strings attached. A lot of people thanked me, and I greatly appreciate that. That's very, very kind of you. Yeah, I hope to meet some of you up in uh, New York, and you'll see in person that I'm actually a really calm, laid-back, uh, I really sort of a huggy person. Of course, in this day and age of, you know, people don't like being touched. I don't mean that kind of touching. You know, people are not into hugging. You know, I don't mean like, like, ooh, that's too close hug. Like, hey, you know, friendly sort of hugs, you know. Actually a kind, nice person. Just don't blow smoke up my ass and try to screw me and shield me or try to, you know, pimp me blind somehow. And I'm a good person. Don't, uh, you know, don't try to F me over, you know, which is what these people... And the mo one half of the world is trying to screw over the other half of the world. Really, it's more like 70% of the world is trying to screw over 100% of the world. But uh, you have to be able to see through that. I accept for the world for the way it is, you know? There are people out there that are, uh, you know, they're uh, completely reactive like an animal. They want to uh, cut your pocketbook open, not literally, but almost literally, and drain you for every penny you got. And, uh, you know, they're, they're an animal. Their instincts is to, is to make as much money as they can while stepping on the skulls of everybody else. You know, pimp and shill, shill and pimp. And uh, I hope to God that YouTube actually bans affiliate links because if they do, I will not give a damn, but everybody else will 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 drop a load in their diaper. They'll literally drop a giant a curly pile in their diaper. They will they will freak and I'll go like, I don't give a shit. Like YouTube bans affiliate links tomorrow, my first comment went, oh, oh okay, yeah, I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I meant that. Meant that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch some of you in New York City. I've never been to New York City except to pass through it on my way to Russia. Considering the way Russia is, I should have just like stopped and like, let me off right now. Don't take me to Russia. Just drop me off in New York City. Yeah. Actually, I couldn't have afforded it. <laughs> so I guess that wouldn't have worked. You got to have a lot of money to spend any time in New York City. But uh, yeah. Oh, well.